Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. Today we're going to talk about very important topic of the respiratory system, and that system is very important regarding the bronchiolitis. We're going to talk about top five important points regarding the topic bronchiolitis, which has come in NEPG as well as the AIMS paper exam. So, question number one: bronchiolitis. So what do you think? Is it an upper respiratory tract infection or a lower respiratory tract infection? So most importantly, number one, it is a lower respiratory tract infection. That is the first point. Today we're going to talk about five important points which has comes in the AIMS paper regarding bronchiolitis. So number one, it is a lower respiratory tract infection. Question number two, which is the most commonest cause? Which is the most commonest cause of bronchiolitis? So, what do you think? So, the most commonest cause of bronchiolitis is nothing but RSV, respiratory syncytial virus. Okay. So now we have covered two points. Number one, it is a lower respiratory tract infection. Number two, it is caused by respiratory syncytial virus, the most commonest one. We have other also like para influenza virus, adenovirus. So many viruses are there, but the most commonest one is nothing but respiratory syncytial virus. Okay, now which is the most common age group? So, what do you think? Which is the most commonest age group do we have for the bronchiolitis? So, the most commonest age group is nothing but around six months of life. Like the book says, different books is different things. So, one to six months of life is the most commonest age group of bronchiolitis, but it can occur till two years also. Okay, so three questions over. Number one, it is a lower respiratory tract infection. Number two, it is caused by respiratory syncytial virus being the most common. Number three, the most commonest age group is one zero to six months of life, and it can go till two years also. Okay, now bronchiolitis. So, in what do what do you mean by that? Bronchiolitis. Itis means inflammation. So, inflammation of the bronchiolar mucosa. Okay, that lead to spasm. That lead to you know problems in the baby. Okay, so what are the, what are the clinical features patient comes with? So inflammation of the bronchial mucosa, patient can have you know formation of mucus plugs or patient can have spasms. You know, so the most clinical features the patient come with could be retractions. You know, could be upper HS retractions, lower chest retractions, could be nasal flaring, could be a grunt. You know, could be in a form of fast breathing. Very important. I I hope you understand that. So these are the clinical features patient can come with. X-ray. So what do you see in chest X-ray? So most important. In the chest X-ray, you will see hyperinflated chest, hyperinflated lung. That's again next fifth question of the AIMS pattern. Okay, what is the X-ray pattern? Do we expect in a case of bronchiolitis? So hyperinflated, right? Hyperinflated chest. You're gonna see that. So did you understand that? So we have covered it. Only two more minutes, and we're gonna finish the whole topic. Number one, bronchiolitis is a lower respiratory tract infection. Number one. Number two, respiratory syncytial virus (RSV) is the most commonest cause for this. It is a viral etiology. Age group is one to six months. It can occur till two years also. Number point number four, very important. Like the the patient can have retractions, wheezing. fast breathing you know the patient can have grunt the patient can have nasal flaring i understanding what is grunt any idea so grunt any can anyone define grunting so you know that grunting is a forced expiratory sound against the partially closed glottis okay hi dr faraz welcome to pediatric doctor anand so these were the important points regarding the bronchiolitis and how do you diagnose it how do you diagnose a case of bronchiolitis so most importantly it is a clinical diagnosis clinically you look at the patient and tell the sir i think this is a case of bronchiolitis sir okay the patient can have, can have high grade fever also but remember the bronchiolitis child children are usually happy child they are happy child they will have fever they are having fast breathing but they are still happy child you know so these were the important uh, definition etiology clinical features investigation for the bronchiolitis and remember bronchiolitis is a clinical diagnosis even though you get a x-ray done you will see a hyper inflated chest okay or what are the differential diagnosis of bronchiolitis can anyone tell me what are the differential diagnosis a patient is having fast breathing retractions grunting so what all the differentials come to your mind so maybe the child can have bronchial asthma yes or no maybe the child can have a congenital congenital heart disease even a congenital heart disease also can have a plethoric lung fields increase urt lrt increase plethora so increase increase incidence of uh, respiratory infections are you understanding so congestive cardiac failure uh, could be bronchial asthma could be foreign body aspiration very important so these are the main differential diagnosis 
of a baby comes to you with of bronchiolitis or a fast breathing with retraction are you understanding i know what do you how do you want to treat this bronchiolitis so bronchiolitis do you want do you want to give antibiotics in this so very important bronchiolitis sir it is the cause is viral so antibiotics have no role right antibiotics have no role the most important very good doctor for us very good so it's a it's a clinical diagnosis it is a viral etiology right uh, hello vikas so that's what so the answer is antibiotics have no role so what do you give so in our hospital setup nothing you give symptomatic management you give humidified oxygen humid humidified oxygen plays a very important role and then symptomatic management like for the treat the fever uh, you know uh, observation for the child if possible give iv fluid if the child is not responding well not feeding well are you understanding so humidified oxygen and symptomatic management um, brings the vital role role in the treatment of bronchiolitis and last what is the antiviral medication so you know that the answer is any antiviral medication which is helpful so the antiviral medication for bronchiolitis is ribavirin okay ribavirin that's the recent aims question was that how do you give ribavirin do you give oral do you give iv or do you give im so remember ribavirin is given by a nebulizer in a aerosol form nebulizer that's a very important question recent date came ribavirin one of the treatment antiviral medication one of the treatment for bronchiolitis neither it is given iv nor it is given im subcutaneous or oral it is usually given in the form of nebulizer nebulizer okay like 16 hours a day for 3 to 5 days yeah that's it so these were the important points regarding bronchiolitis we have covered important uh, you know neat as well as aims paper the question was which is the most commonest organism of bronchiolitis the answer is rsv uh, you know and how do you give ribavirin uh, this nebulizer or aerosol form hi divya nice to see you so these were the important points of bronchiolitis thank you so much for watching the video and uh, like this we'll keep going updating for latest uh, topics and uh, uh, different you know uh, parts of the pediatrics thank you so much for watching good night